Uh, yes, uh, sending off. Um, it was a big part of the game. I think even with 10 players, I think we moved the ball quite well and got us some uh, good positions. So it's not all doom and gloom. Yes, the scoreline isn't great and it's a, it's a local derby, but from our from our own point of view, how we acquitted ourselves with 10 men, I think we'd be reasonably positive about it. Yeah, I mean, the first goal after three minutes was a goalkeeping error. Yeah, but look, <laughs> this is the way we play and everybody knows when you come here, you're going to see uh, a style of play that is different to everybody else. If you wanted to go watch a team bash the ball into the front and, and that type of play, well, then you won't see those type of errors. But you see when it, when it comes off and it does well, and more often than not, it does. But look, unfortunately, this is what happens. Yeah, the sending off. Do you think it was a red card? I think it was on the other side. I think he'll be screaming for a red. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't think he can really argue with us. Um, and again, he's been left short and he's been put in a decision where he's got a twist or go bust. And, you know, unfortunately, he's made the tackle and, and suffered the consequences because of it. I thought we played extremely well in the second half. I mean, they scored their second goal, we only had nine men on the pitch. But in the second half, I thought we, we almost bossed the game. Yeah. And, uh, and I think that's the other thing. Look, a defeat is never easy to take, but I think it's the smaller parts within the game of how well we've played. Nine men losing the second goal, Matt going off with a, what looks like a hamstring is another blow for us. But if you actually break down in the game into pass and receive and playing forward, even with 10 men, at parts of the game you probably wouldn't have even realised we were down to 10 men. So, you know, I don't think it's all. No, and there are positive ahead. I mean, the, the, third, the second goal, of course, was a bit of a goalkeeping error as well, but uh, down to nine men again. So there are some positives to take from it, I think. It was, it was a, bit, it's a sort of a strange game. I thought we were the better team, but they, they scored two goals. <laughs> and look, that's, that's their way, and there's no disrespect to the, the, the way different teams play, but they are set up to stop, kick it long, and then try and score off those type of goals. And, you know, I think Faz this afternoon, I thought, was, was particularly good defending that. Um, and... Uh, and look, look, it's not easy. No, it isn't easy. We go again, Southampton on Tuesday, and then you dust yourself down for next week, I suppose. <laughs> the games just don't stop, do they? Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. And when you look at the, the age profile of our players, the, the depth of our squad, you know, we're equipping ourselves very, very well, you know, and you think that the Wednesday's game at Bournemouth was a fantastic performance from all, you know. Uh, maybe uh, if it was played on a Tuesday, we might be a little bit more fresher in our minds come the Saturday, so we've got to take that into account as well. Well, look, we've got Tuesday where I'm sure we'll make a few changes and then we get ready then for Saturday. Thanks very much indeed. Cheers. Could have been a different game if Joe Mills' oh, uh, yeah. wonder free kick had crept under oh, the bar. Oh, you know, uh, and again, fine margins. The width of a post is a difference, or like a paint and between it going in and and, uh, and and getting a draw out of the game because we probably would have changed the way we played if we got it back to 1 1. And But like you say, nine men and then to concede one in the, in the 90 odd minute or something, you know. It's been eight games in August. That's a real heavy schedule, isn't it? It's, it's not going to be like that for the rest of the season. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it does, and it does take its toll. And it's, look, it's not an excuse, but there are reasons behind some players who play well or get injured or maybe aren't on top of their game because fatigue does build up, you know, especially so early on in the season. Yeah, did you think a few of the players were leggy today? Had it taken its toll uh, Wednesday night? Physically, I'd say the physical returns from the game probably aren't so bad, but certainly the mental ones, you know, might have, that might be the bit of having the courage yeah. or the positivity to play forward, maybe a little bit more awareness, better weight of our passes and so on and so forth. But, you know, it's it's not an easy position to be in. You're obviously all rightly frustrated at the end of the match. What, what did Mark Cooper say to the players in the change room afterwards? We've got to be able to stand up the teams. You think of the two defeats that we've had so far in the in the league of very, very similar press and physical, getting after some, we, some of our young boys and they are young and coming from some of them from a very low level into league football have to mature and have to stand up to these sort of things but be tactically aware within the game to recognise these scenarios and not just be blinkered to playing football when, when it's clearly not on when some teams get ahead of steam on us. Okay, cheers. Thank you.